This video is all about automating your business. My name is Tine Kerense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women, solopreneurs to start building a business and becoming a business owner. So today we talk about automation. How do you know that you need to automate? Well, there are a few indicators. One of the things is that you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And it's, it's a repetitive task and it's simple to do. Um, then you can decide to delegate it to someone else, but that's usually more expensive. So the first thing you do is to check, can I automate it? If yes, please do. Another indicator that it's about time to start automating is when too many mistakes start to be made by you or people in the team. When automation is set up properly, there are no major mistakes, but it has to be set up properly. That's important. Another reason why you know you need to start automating is that you are becoming very, very, very busy. When you're really busy, there's two things you need to check. First of all, what can I automate and what can I delegate? Automation is always the first thing you look at because that is something that is often, especially in the beginning when you have a small business, it's easy to set up and it's cheap. You know, starting to delegate, it also costs you time. Automation does too, but having someone else do the work is usually more expensive than having automation or a system doing the work. So those were a few indicators on when it's time for you to start automating. And I'm a huge fan of automating. There are so many tools out there that you can use. And now there's a choice. Uh, are you going to use free tools or are you going to use paid tools? Usually tools have a free trial or uh, for a couple of days or weeks, or they even have a free entry, uh, especially for a lot of email automation programs. There it's free until a certain amount of contacts or a certain amount of emails that you send. So do check out ask around in your network what people are using for a specific task to automate because usually there's a choice of five or more different tools that you can use for that specific task so it already helps you to eliminate maybe some of them then go and check out really dive into them there also are often a lot of blogs which compare the various automation tools, then be aware because sometimes they've been written by one of the automation tools that are in the list. Uh, so it's not always 100% objective, but um, you know, it, it does help you. It gives you an overview of what is possible, what does it do, what does it not do, what can you expect, and often also what the pricing is. So whether you choose for free or whether you choose for paid, that's entirely up to you. Some things are, some tools are not free. Um, and it's always the case when you choose for the paid option, you, you have more features to use, but also often you have a different kind of support, a different level of support within a certain amount of hours or direct email. Uh, or, you know, it, it, it may vary depending on what level of automation you get into, because usually automation tools have various levels. So free or paid, it depends what you want and it depends how much support you need. And it depends of the bulk of the automation and how often you use it. Okay. Now there's a choice for you. Are you going to do all the automation yourself? Are you going to do all the settings and everything? Maybe sometimes there's coding involved, but hardly ever. Nowadays, automation tools are made that easy 
that we don't need big IT companies or gurus anymore to do the automation of our business because it's it really has become very simple, especially when you have a small business. You can do it yourself. But here's the thing. Are you good at it? Do you have enough time to do it? And do you love doing it? See, I love doing the things. Because once I am installing the tool, I am even getting more insight in how it works. And I'm already getting more ideas on how I can use it, where I can combine it with other tools. There's also tools that make connections for various tools to communicate. Very nice. Um, but if you don't love doing it, or you can't, you're, you're, it's just not your thing, you're not good at it, or you don't have a lot of time, have someone else do it, delegate it, or outsource it. Yeah, because then it will take maybe a bit longer, and it will cost you some money, but you keep on doing the things that you're making money with now, or you keep your energy and vibration high because you are not doing things that you don't like doing. And if you go against what you love, your energy drops. And this is another conversation, but your creation and manifestation power immediately drops. Because whatever you vibrate and send out, that's what you attract. So often I remember when I was doing this in the beginning and I was not good at it, what, and, and I was thinking, oh my God, why am I doing this? I have no time. I should have someone else do this. But then I wanted to do that because that's my mentality. If I feel I, I want to do something, I do it no matter what. And then all of a sudden I started to press the wrong button and it was all gone again, for example. So those are things that you can create when you're going against flow, going again and enforcing things. So energy is... In whatever you do, it's hugely important, okay? Now, what are things that you can automate? Of course, emails, newsletters, social media scheduling, uh, even copywriting. There are tools where you add a few words or a few sentences and, they cr and it creates copy for you on uh, an artificial uh, intelligence based. Um, bookkeeping, of course, uh, that's usually the first thing we start automating or we hire a bookkeeper, but they automate as well. Um, collaboration, such as project management tools, where you work with a team on various projects at the same time, it's very good to automate that. And there's just an enormous amount of things you can automate. Basically, nearly everything you can automate. And sometimes you think, no, it's not possible. We need the human mind to do that. Nowadays, artificial intelligence is becoming that intelligent that it already can sometimes replace the human mind. So automation is important in the business scaling and growing process. If you want to grow from self-employed to becoming a business owner, and maybe you don't want to become a business owner, but I want to challenge you, if you want to make a big impact, have a big mission, you need to also build a big business. And that's where things sometimes drop because then our lack of self-esteem or knowledge or assurance comes around the corner. But that's a different topic. I just wanted to address it very quickly. Now, if you feel that, hey, this is one of the topics that I want to know more about or any other business topic uh, that, that you're currently struggling with when you're in the scaling and growing process of your business, just remember me. I have over 30 years of business experience and you can always uh, schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. The link is down in the description or in the social media post, depending on where you watch the video. And these calls are, for me, it's just for fun because I love to talk to people. I love to talk to women who are in, in business and want to grow their business. So it's free. There's no obligations. And if not, just check out one of our other videos. 
on uh, YouTube because there's lots and lots of content videos for women who want to scale and grow their business. Bye bye for now.